Have a nice day, everyone. Now, after we found the ADs, their awareness directives from EASA and FAA, we want to try to trace these ADs. Look here, we, I suggest a form for that. There was direct tracing. Here is the company name, the aircraft type, the registration, the aircraft serial number. So the sheet for every aircraft serial number, every aircraft serial number, not engine and not APU, and not landing gear. This is for airframe, okay, for the aircraft. <coughs> Sorry. Here is a column number one here, AD number, AD number. Look here, this is FAA, AD number. This is the number of AD for EASA, look for EASA, AD number, this is here. Okay, no revision here, but here, look here. R3, revision number three. So this is the AD number, and this is the revision, and this is origin, revision zero, and a revision here, revision three. This is the engineering order number. What is the meaning of engineering order? The engineering order is for to prepare from ADs and service bulletins to put it in steps for engineering order for this aircraft, okay? The engineering departments issue this engineering order, not planning department, the engineering department, okay? This column for subject, subject here. When you come to the AD, you will see the subject here. This is the service bulletin. Some ADs has service bulletin, refer to service bulletin, and others, no. Look here. Here, no service bulletin. And there's a yes, a, AD. Here is the service bulletin here. Okay? This is the service bulletin. Okay. This is a revision of service bulletin. If there is a, a revision, we put the number of revision here. Here's the effective date. What's the meaning of effective date? The local civil aviation authority will claim the company after this date. Okay, where I come from this uh, effective date here. The effective date here, effective date, here, that's effective date. And for the other, here, the effective date, okay? So, all this data from the AD, except the engineering order after the AD studied. Here, the interval, the interval means what is the period to repeat the inspection. We must trace by three parameter. Take care, three diameter, not two. Calendar, light hours, flight cycle. This AD with flight hours only, no calendar, no Light cycle. We can show you, see, show you here. And just that. One thousand flight hour repetitive inspection interval. Okay. No date. No calendar. No cycle. For this is okay. Is this AD repeated or not? 
Yes, repeat it. Repeat it every 1,000 to 8 hours. Terminated or not? Terminated means closed, means complied. Terminated means closed, but here it's open. No, because it is repeated. Here also, no, it is repeated. Open. The last inspection complied data. The last of the inspection data. Also, the three parameters dates, flight hours, flight cycle. I put here date, and this is the last flight hours, and for, for, for flight cycle, may cross. Okay. If I go here, the next view, when the inspection, the next inspection view, I may add the interval, add the interval to the compliance. Here, flight hours, and here, flight hours. Add this cell for this cell to, okay, this cell, okay. I will see you, show you. N9 plus L9, okay. N9 plus this way. Okay, so you want to add this, I, to this to come in the next view. Okay, here is cross. And here is the remarks. What is the remarks here? There is MPD task number and the MPD. We put it here. Okay, here the remaining. This is for you, not for the local authority aviation. Here we make remaining. And this three columns for warning to alert you here. You look here, this is a warning here. This is formula we you will see in the end of the sheet. Okay. So we now make tracing for the ADs. Okay. Some nodes here. I will put some nodes here. I suggest to create a separate file for each aircraft, each engine, and each assembly like APU and landing gear. Okay, if the AD is not applicable for your fleet, for this aircraft, please show why, because it is not the uh, aircraft uh, serial number, aircraft uh, part number is not applicable, okay. The warning function for calendar, I put it here, the warning function for the flight hours I right here. The warning function for the flight cycle I put it here to help you. Okay. Thank you very much and goodbye. Please comment. If you see any error, comment with it. Okay. Or send me the email.